Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on your video platform. I hope you all are fine, preparing well. So guys, I am Vishal Sharma and again I am here in front of you with a good news from DRDO actually. DRDO actually, DRDO they came up with huge bumper vacancies for mechanical, CSC, electrical, electronics, other engineering domain students and science domain students also. So there are huge vacancies guys this year in DRDO they are coming uh, coming up with and the students with the gate to uh, 2020, 21, 22 they can apply. Okay, initially they are going to conduct some written test. So uh, 25 times students they are going to call for the written test. In the month of October they planned uh, like the tentative date for the written test. The written test will be of subjective in nature. They are going to conduct the, some written test based on the engineering services examination UPSC pattern. Okay, it will be like your UPSC mains subject test so final selection will be based on your merit list which they are going to prepare based on the 80% marks which you are going to get in that written test plus 15% weightage will be there for the interview okay so then they are going to offer you the seat so there is no such gate weightage in your final selection but initially they are going to utilize the gate score just to shortlist you for the written test okay so 25 times candidates they are going to call for the written test based on your gate score only so initially based on your gate score only you need to apply but what are the what is the good news actually like uh, suppose in mechanical the vacancies are close to 56 so if you multiply 56 with 25 you will get a number close to 1200 1300 close to that you can check okay so what i think in that range if your your rank lies uh, then there are high chances up to 1500 i think it is good to try uh, for this drdo if you are getting shortlisted then the entire selection based on your written examination examination if you are if you are able to perform in best well in that written examination then based on the interview performance they are going finally going to offer you the seat so there is no such gate weightage in your final merit list but initially they are going to utilize that gate, gate score just to shortlist you for the written test okay so i feel because all three domain students uh, all three years like 20 21 22 students are eligible to apply and there are huge bumper vacancies i'm going to discuss with you this particular detailed notification so you can easily get the idea whether you you can you, you need to apply or not okay so you can multiply the number of seats with the the number 25 because they are going to call 25 times of the candidates okay so drdo i think there is no such introduction required for drdo it's a one of the very top most research organization in india okay so if you will type on google D, drdo rac you will be easily able to enter on this particular website DRDO RAC ki website pe aap ja, ja paoge. Let me tell you also, like if you want to read this particular notification, guys, on Google you need to type DRDO RAC, you will be easily able to enter on this particular website. <coughs> on the top only, you are going to find out this latest advertisement. Okay. Kal ye advertisement aaya hai, 23rd June ko, Sham ko, Sadi Shembeje ke aspas. So if you will, will click on this view advertisement, you will be easily able to download this advertisement okay aapko advertisement download karna hai aur isko dekhna hai further if you want to download the written test syllabus then you need to click on the notices notices pe click karke here you are going to find out the syllabus syllabus for descriptive type examination okay descriptive type examination ke liye these are the syllabus for mechanical ec and csc so you can click on that and then you can you can have a downloaded syllabus also you can check and you can prepare accordingly okay so now let me again move to the notification because in this particular video i'm going to discuss with you the notification only separate uh, soon uh, like vijendra sir is going to make some video based on the subjective uh, written test which they are going to prepare so detailed video discussion you will have with vijendra sir is going to tell you how you need to prepare for that written test uh, subjective written paper mains uppsc based on that pattern only uh, how you can prepare okay so that discussion also you will have soon so let me come to the notification the last date for this notification applying application is what 25 21 days from the activation of the link okay i think they declared this notification yesterday so i think they are going to start the activation link from today only so from today onwards if, if we will calculate 21 days so i think up to 30 13 or 14th of the july you can apply 13 14 july se pehle pehle aapko iske liye apply kar dena hai okay so now let me move to the notification okay these some more details you can check <clears throat> so these are the bumper vacancies guys electronics ke liye uh, DRDO mein ADA and DST, these are the three divisions actually, DRDO, ADA and DST, uh, 54 vacancies general, 13 EWS, accordingly you can check guys, your category wise, these are the total vacancies for electronics, 134, okay, these you can check easily, I think I am not going through these uh, uh, part, vacancies are huge, you can check, you can download this notification and you can get more detail, let me discuss with you the essential qualification, okay, so 
essential qualification is what gate you need to qualify gate okay so if you qualified gate then yes based in these paper if you are having btech it is not like that only you electronic students are eligible so these are also the acceptable subjects like if you are having btech in industrial electronics telecommunication engineering electronics and control engineering then also you are eligible so these are the all eligible domains and if you are having btech paper in uh, gate paper in ec your paper gate is required in ec then you are eligible to apply and minimum 80 percent weightage is there if uh, if you are from iit or nit pass out iit or nit pass out then there is no gate required so there are two ways to apply for this one if you qualified gate examination another second way if you have not qualified or if you have not appeared for gate but your btech percentage is more than 80 percent and you passed out from uh, top what you can say nit or iit I, iit or nit se agar pass out ho graduate ho then also you can apply so these are the two modes by which you can apply for these positions in drdo okay so these uh, you know the essential qualifications are going to remain same only so let me now move to this mechanical engineering in mechanical also there are huge vacancies close to 132 okay drdo ada dst 52 vacancies for general 14 for other reserved categories you can check okay again there is the same procedure btech minimum is required in 60 percent 60 percent first class bachelor degree in mechanical engineering gate paper mechanical and these are the domains eligible like btech in mechanical btech in mechanical automation btech in mechanical production all are eligible and you know to have you know if you are if you, if you have not qualified gate or you have not appeared in gate but you are having 80 percent marks and you graduated from nit or it then also you are eligible to apply okay so these are the common things guys only you need to check the number of vacancies aapko sirf kya karna hai aapko vacancies check karni hai okay so you can download this notification and you can check so there are huge vacancies in various uh, domains okay let me tell you the domains only so that you will be able to check this uh, particular notification so mechanical electronics computer science also there are huge vacancies you can check other than computer science electrical the uh, essential qualification okay uh, these are same guy same okay the same kind of essential qualification is there but only the there is a you know difference in the uh, eligibility btech degree okay so for electrical engineering you need to have btech in electrical so you can check physics also chemistry chemical engineering aeronautical mathematics civil instrumentation material science naval architecture uh, environmental and more atmospheric sciences microbiology biochemistry there are huge total vacancies are 528 okay these are the total vacancies 528 you can apply now let me move to this you know uh, the eligibility requirement so if you are not having 60 percent vacancy vac uh, percentage then also you can apply but only for dst okay dst ke liye apply kar sakte but for drdo you need to have minimum 60 percent uh, percentage 60 percent marks okay age limit also you can check guys for unreserved category drdo 28 unreserved OB, uh, this DST 35 ADA 30 years okay further there is a relaxation of three years uh, the standard you know the process they are opting three years for OBC and five years for what SCST I think and further the 10 year relaxation is there for PWD category these you know these relaxations are similar to any other uh, PSU or government organizations so they are offering uh, some kind of age relaxation also based on your category reservation okay so you can avail that uh, if you are not meeting the uh, general age category Chaliye, now let me move to the uh, selection process application application fees is 100 only guys 100 rupees is the application fees okay i think that is not a you know uh, big issue but you need to think because if you really want your selection in this uh, you know uh, drdo at this particular position scientist uh, gusted post a okay very good salary package is also they are offering in this uh, position so post is very good but three months in next three months you need to prepare okay so application easily you will be able to apply but if you are really interested from the day one guys you need to start preparing the paper will be subjective in nature so some kind of you know separate strategy in different way you need to prepare for cracking this examination okay so 25 times of the candidate they are going to call for the written test and based on your performance in the written test they are finally going to offer you the seat okay so you can see 25 times candidates they are going to call Chali, let me now move to the selection process guys because that is much important and let me tell you some brief about the paper also so here you can check guys they are going to conduct paper two papers they are going to conduct 300 marks each Two sessions mein wo paper conduct karenge 
300-300 मार्क्स के पेपर होंगे बेस्ड ऑन द इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज मेंस पैटर्न ओनली तो इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज का जो मेंस का सिलेबस है द सिलेबस इज सेम एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट पैटर्न ओनली दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द एग्जामिनेशन द एग्जामिनेशन विल बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेड इन ए पेपर बेस्ड फॉर्मेट सो फ्रॉम दैट आई थिंक वी कैन गेट वेरी क्लियर कट आइडिया दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द सब्जेक्टिव पेपर सब्जेक्टिव पेपर होगा फ्रो दैट सम सेपरेट स्ट्रेटर्जी प्रिपरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो 300 300 नंबर के दो पेपर दे आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट सिलेबस आल्सो दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड टू अस टेंटेटिव रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन डेट इज 16th ऑफ अक्टूबर 16 अक्टूबर क्या है आपका टेंटेटिव एग्जाम डेट है एंड ऑन वेरियस डीआरडीओ सेंटर्स दे आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर ओके तो एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर आपको डीआरडीओ सेंटर्स पे मिल जाएगा विच आर इन बेंगलुरु चेन्नई दिल्ली हैदराबाद कानपुर कोलकाता एंड पुणे इन सेंटर्स में से कहीं ना कहीं आपको सेंटर मिल जाएगा ओके लेट मी डिस्कस विद यू द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस ऑल्सो गाइस नेक्स्ट जो कॉलम है कॉलम नंबर सेवन सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस सो इनिशियली दे आर गोइंग टू शॉर्ट लिस्ट यू बेस्ड ऑन दी रिटर्न टेस्ट गेट स्कोर पहले रिटर्न टेस्ट के लिए तो गेट स्कोर के बेसिस पे शॉर्ट लिस्ट करेंगे एंड इन रिटर्न टेस्ट इफ यू आर यू नो एबल टू क्वालिफाई दैट रिटर्न टेस्ट देन दे आर गोइंग टू शॉर्ट लिस्ट यू फॉर द इंटरव्यू ओके देन यू नो टू अपीयर इन द पर्सनल इंटरव्यू एट वेरियस प्लेसेस डिसाइडेड बाय द डीआरडीओ आरएसी ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे आर गोइंग टू ऑफर यू द सिलेक्शन फाइनल ऑफर सो the opportunity is very big and very good guys so please try if you are meeting all those eligibility criteria let me discuss some more things if it is required closing date is 21st date i think these are already i, I have discussed with you general instructions also guys you can go into these details uh, just to know some more general instructions abhi main aapko bata deta hu bachcho some uh, details about the packages they are offering they are going to offer you the initial salary in the range of 88000 88,000 का अभी इनिशियल सैलरी आपको ऑफर करेंगे एंड दीज आर द साइंटिस्ट पोस्ट इन ग्रुप ए कैटेगरी गजटेड टेक्निकल सर्विसेज ओके तो गजटेड पोस्ट रहेगा ग्रुप ए में विद अप्रोक्सीमेट सैलरी 88,000 पर मंथ ओके तो गाइस प्लीज अप्लाई टाइमली दीज आर द बम्पर वैकेंसीज इन दिस ईयर इन डी सो इफ यू आर मीटिंग द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया एंड इफ यू फील यू वॉन्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉब प्लीज अप्लाई so what i suggested you earlier like in mechanical vacancies are 52 and if you multiplied by 25 so we will have a number close to what we will have a number close to uh, 17 uh, how much number we will get 52 ko agar hum isse multiply karenge 25 se so we will get a number 1300 okay so close to that so with that number uh, 1300 what we can say ki there there are huge chances if you are if your rank in is in that range then it is good to apply to 1500 tak bhi aapko try kar lena chahiye if you really want this job what i feel general category student it is good to apply up to 1500 rank okay so initially they are going to shortlist you based on the number of applications also okay and they are going to shortlist the 25 times of the candidates uh, uh, in comparison to the number of you know post described for that particular Uh, domain okay like mechanical electrical or other domain students okay so i feel uh, it is good to try even if your rank is not that much high then also it is good to try but yes preparation you need to begin after analyzing all those things ki yes there are high chances or there are some good chances or not uh, to get short listed for the written test because then only you will get the motivation to start your preparation okay otherwise like suppose there are very less chances for you to get short listed for this examination then yes you will not be able to start full fledged your you know preparation for this exam because some kind of different separate preparation is required for cracking this written examination okay so i hope uh, uh, you will like this particular job notification further for any query any doubt you can shoot your query in the comment section and guys let me tell you your pedia here also we also we are thinking of you know providing you some kind of module some kind of uh, subjective type test series also okay because in this paper they are going to ask you subjective questions only so we are thinking of providing you such kind of module as well as subjective test series so if you are interested you can fill the google form available in the description of this video later says you will get some more uh, videos related to that by dr vijender by me also okay so we are going to discuss in detail how you need to prepare for this particular opportunity thank you very much have a nice day keep preparing good luck